Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Technical Tuesday. Uh, what we're going to cover this week is uh, to show you how the blower door works really well with the thermal camera to find leaks in building envelopes. So just kind of a recap on how the blower door works. Uh, we have this one set up here with the inlet side facing us. So that means it's going to depressurize the house, which means all of the leaks uh, in the house are gonna be exaggerated uh, so that they are pulling air in through those leaky spots. And since we have a good Delta T today, uh, we have it at about 70 degrees inside, outside is about 45 degrees. So that means we'll be able to see that cold air coming in pretty easily with the thermal camera. Um, what we're using here today is the Hike Micro M30. So uh, it has lots of nice settings on it so we can just see a straight up thermal image or we can use a thermal overlay or we can just have a picture in picture uh, that shows the uh, thermal inside of just a regular photo or video. And we're using the iPad here with it tethered to the camera via Wi-Fi uh, so that we can record uh, some of these thermal shots here for the video. So we'll go ahead and turn the blower door on. A best practice here is to start out low. You don't want to start out at negative 50 pascals of pressure. You may want to start out at maybe even negative five or negative 10. Walk around, do some scans, and then work your way up gradually. Uh, maybe go 5, 10, 25, then 50. What happens is if you go ahead and dive right into negative 50 pascals, you can over exaggerate some of those leaks and it may make it difficult to see exactly where the building is leaking in a certain spot. So we wanna be able to see what it looks like at a variety of pressures before we dive right in at a high pressure test. So as we start off here on 10 pascals, you can see that we have some leakage here at the floor. Uh, this is at an attic knee wall, so it's pretty leaky and we can see where it's coming in from where that bottom of that wall isn't sealed. So that's cool attic air coming in. And as we ramp the fan up a little bit more, up from 10 to negative 25 pascals, we can see this leakage starts to exaggerate more as we see those streaks come across the floor. These cameras are also good to see uh, failures in insulation where there might be some gaps or voids, uh, where there's some insulation may not exist in the wall where it should. Uh, for example, on this wall here, we can see a combination of the two. There's some insulation missing uh, in some sections of this wall, and we can see some air leakage coming in up at the tops around the corners. This section of floor here is where a crawl space meets an elevated slab, and we can see some cold air coming in here where the assembly isn't quite sealed, so we see some outdoor air coming in here. So that's one of the challenges of identifying failures in building envelopes, air is invisible. So any way we can make it visible with the naked eye with a tool such as the infrared camera, uh, it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and find where these failures are occurring in the building envelope. It also makes it nicer to explain to clients what's happening again, because they can see it immediately right here on the camera and it allows us to put a nice visual aid in any reports that we make. That'll do it this week for us on Technical Tuesdays. Catch us again next week. We'll be right here. Thanks again for watching.